You know, sport in the media really is a little bit topsy-turvy at times. You know, we're so dominated by football in this country that even on a sort of average weekend, it's still on every page, on every back page, and we have to read about the whole lot of games. You know, we had to read about Darren Barker this weekend. Did a great, you know, he's brave, his hip went, but he lost his IBF middleweight title. Bad luck, Darren Barker. England cricket team got annihilated. But where in the main pages was the athletics? This weekend was the European Cross Country Championships in Belgrade, Serbia. One of the big meetings of the year. A massive, massive race. Cross country running, one of the great sports. Man against the conditions. Man against the, the climate, against the hills, against the grass, against the mud. Whatever's thrown at you, it is a real endurance sport. It's fantastic. If you ever get a chance, give it a go. You feel great at the end, obviously. But this weekend in Belgrade, England cross-country team did absolutely unbelievable. The teams and as individuals. I'll just give you a little list of what happened and why the hell this wasn't in the main headlines. This is England being really, really successful. Andy Vernon, in the senior men's race, sprinted for the last 150 metres unbelievably to snatch a bronze medal. Great finish, great result. Gemma Steele got an unbelievable silver medal in the women's senior race. In the under-20s race, Amelia Goretka won the gold medal. The gold medal, under-20, we have the fastest cross-country runner in Europe. And most people probably even heard of her. Charlotte Perdue got a bronze medal in the under-23 race. And then team medals. The male senior team got a bronze. The women's senior team got a gold. The women's under-23 and the men's under-23 got gold. Unbelievable results. Why wasn't this headlines in the news? This is English sports at its best. This is English sports men and women getting unbelievable results on a European level. We should be celebrating this. Instead, we get English cricket failure and the rest of it. Bye for now.